Okay, here we are sitting on the ergometer. Been on the water all season, but now it's winter. Time to start rowing the ergometer. What's the goal on the ergometer? Probably two different things. One is to say I'm going to try to increase my, my endurance. I'm going to train to increase endurance. What's the other? Probably say, ooh, I'm going to increase my strength. Well, in reality, what we're really trying to do, we're trying to say, I'm going to try to increase my power. How can I generate, how can I become more powerful? Why is power so important? Power is work done over time. So what am I going to try to really do? This ergometer, it's a great measurement of work. Erg is a unit of work. Ergometer, it tells me, ah, how much work am I doing? What's power? Changing that rate of work. How can I change the rate of work? Because I can do easy work, which I'm doing now, nice and easy, and say, I'm, I'm moving the wheel, I'm pretty working the wheel, but I'm not going very hard. What am I going to do now? I'm going to say, ooh, I'm going to change the power. What do I need to do? Ah, I need to be able to do more work. So how can I do more work? Ah, more force. I'm going to put more force on the foot stretchers. So there, I put more force on the foot stretchers. Now I'm doing more work. So I can feel that individual stroke, more work. Hence, by putting more force, hence more power. The other way of doing it would be to say, oh, what can I do? I can bring up the stroke limit. If I do the same amount of work on a given stroke, but I do more of it a minute, then I do more power. So now what I do, ah, I go higher stroke rate. So I'm not really doing you know, more work on a given stroke. I'm doing more strokes a minute, hence I'm generating more power. So that time component is very important to use in terms of how do I generate how I generate power, but the other component is work. So what is work? Work has three components. Work is force through distance. So now that brings to the idea of distance, it's our range of motion. So our range of motion starts, ah, where is the finish? Where am I back here at the finish position? Ah, what's my range of motion? How long is my arms? About one third the distance is the arms. What's the next? About one-third the distance is the body. There's that range of motion in the body. What's the last? About one-third the distance is the legs. You know, so I've got a position that I'm going to up at the catch end where I've repositioned my mass to. So what am I going to try to do? I'm going to try to accelerate my mass, which is force. Mass times acceleration is force. What am I going to do? Go through a range of motion, which is distance. On recovery, I try to reposition my mass back up to the front end. I've got to connect my mass to the flywheel, my mass to the flywheel. What am I going to do? Accelerate my mass through distance. It's best at this stage not to worry too much about time. What do I want to do? I want to think about force. How can I think about force? Ah, I can think about weight on the foot stretches. So I want to come up to the front end. Connect my mass to the flywheel. Ah, put a weight on the feet. Then try to connect my mass to the feet and then try to accelerate. Connect, accelerate. What have I generated? I've generated power. In the process of going power, that rate of power, I'm putting work into the wheel. What's being counted or what's being measured in terms of distance is how much work do I do. Next, we're going to talk about a little bit more in terms of how can I efficiently do this on the ergometer. Until then.